I think the building or the situation is characterized by that beautiful view on the one hand and on the other hand by two different city grids, a rectangular one which uh, dominates most parts of the city and the more diagonal one which is addresses itself towards the governor's house. And we tried with elliptical form to avoid to be part of one of these worlds and to set a new standard. Christoph the Atrium provides opportunities for naturally ventilated mm -hmm. spaces um, and connectivity between different floors. Can you talk about its importance in terms of contemporary work environments? I think that contemporary work environments are about communication, informal, unexpected communication. You don't have to have an appointment to see somebody or to meet somebody. And that is where innovation and inspiration comes from. So what we tried here to do is to establish a quality, a spatial quality, which is normally known in normal campus style offices and just integrate this kind of quality into to a high rise, making the whole interior space a community. You know the other people, you know what they're doing. It's not that isolated kind of high rise building that you normally find in cities like that. The innovation points and the Green Star context, they were particularly the double skin for ah, the Australian yeah. context <laughs> and solar thermal tubes on the roof which create hot water which goes into an absorption chiller uh, to form part of the cooling system. The building produces 100,000 litres of clean water per day from the sewerage system mm -hmm. and that's um, one Olympic swimming pool every two <laughs> weeks. The green wall that's about doing something very special where, where it comes to be very, very narrow to the neighbors. And with that green wall, the problem has more or less been solved. We have created so much more public space and really usable space in that the space in the front of the building gets sunlight, gets sunshine all through the year, through the lunch period. And you can see today, for instance, people sitting on the steps in the sun, which is exactly what they're designed for. Mm. What is important is that the roof of the building is not just a roof with some air conditioning units on top. It's a fifth facade. It's seen as being at least as important as another facade. Personally, I have to say I'm, I'm most proud of the acceptance that the project gets from the public. Now, people in the business district just use it, even if they are not positioned or not occupying a space in the building. I think they, they accept that and they feel that this is a friendly neighbour and they just occupy it. And that's, that's I think, the best compliment we could get. I think we're both very proud of the fact that we really did solve, we think, all of the, all of the problems of the site, the, the ground plane, you know, we really make some good public space. Also we solved the developer's problem and the tenant's problem, making really a vertical campus, which is new and I think it really has added to the narrative of the office building in this country.